As you may know by now, AI prompting skills will be an increasingly important skill for every information worker to have going forward. Learning how to write meaningful prompts will be super important. But once you've written a great prompt, how will you remember it? Learning how to prompt and remembering that powerful prompt that automated the work you're doing are two different things. That's where prompt libraries come in. A prompt library is simply a method of storing your prompts so you don't start from scratch each time. In this video, I'll show you how to create a simple prompt library using Microsoft Lists, provide ideas on categorizing your prompts, show you how to easily add your amazing prompts to your library, show you how to work with your team to build a communal team prompting reference, and I'll give you some ideas on the fields to consider as you build out your library. It's really important that you have a place to store your prompts and enhance them over time. So let's get started with building our own prompt library using Microsoft Lists. All right, so let's take a look at the prompt library I've created in Microsoft Lists. Again, I just created a very simple, straightforward Microsoft List. I have a column called Purpose, Category. Um, those two columns are uh, choice fields, so I'm able to categorize the prompt based on different values. Uh, the title of the, of the prompt, so that tells me a little bit about what the prompt accomplishes. The input variables that describe to the user that's seeing this for the first time. These are the three questions you'll need to ask in order to use this prompt. The model that has been tested on, and then the prompt recipe itself, which I'm going to copy and paste into uh, Copilot. So I, when I use the prompt, this is what I'm going to copy and paste out. All right, so let me show you how we use this. So I'm gonna grab this out of the list. I'm gonna move over to Copilot. And if I'm uh, not capturing it before I go over into Copilot, I've added it to my sidebar in Microsoft Edge over here. So when I click here, it's gonna bring up that uh, prompt library. So I am able to access it from within the uh, browser itself. So if I go and collapse all of the different categories so that I've, I've sorted this by purpose, I can see um, the I have some di several different options here: client uh, prompts, content creation prompts, education, investigation, productivity, skill building, and uh, user adoption. So I can go in and expand, for example, my content creation, grab a prompt from uh, from here, and copy and paste it over into the Copilot. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to paste a prompt over here. And uh, this is going to be, uh, I'm using applications in 365 Cloud and I want to get some steps and some, uh, some user adoption campaign. Now what I do is I've learned to create some variables down here at the bottom and these are the values. And these values will be uh, placed into the prompt above. So it makes it very reusable. So when I copy something out of my prompt library, all of these uh, values will be missing. So it'll have user value colon and then a blank. I have to type something in. So if I execute this and I see the response start to come back, this prompt is going to give me a LinkedIn post title, a, um, a prompt a, or a, a posting itself, six steps to help me uh, get started with PowerPoint Cameo, for example, and create the slides for a PowerPoint presentation that I can then go in in PowerPoint and create a slide deck. So very useful prompt, very powerful, and you can see why I would want to use that over and over and over. Now let's talk about fine tuning my prompt. So we see in the Copilot interface, I have uh, my prompt is up here. What I've been doing previously, and I think everyone's been doing, is I've gone up here, chosen the copy, I pasted it back down here, and I've edited it or tweaked it. Microsoft has added this really useful feature called Notebook now. So I'm gonna go into Notebook, and this is made pretty much specifically to allow me to go in, let me execute that, to allow me to go in and modify my prompt um, and enhance it and tweak it and see what the results are below. So my prompt remains consistent at the top and uh, I can see what the results are here. So if I go down and I can say, okay, I've got uh, my PowerPoint Cameo presentation, I can copy that out and put it into another document where I can start to work on that. Now let's say I want to change it to a different topic and I'm gonna say it's still a consulting manager using PowerPoint and this time I'm going to have 
transcription. So now I'm going to execute that. I can generate responses very, very quickly that the results appear down below. I can copy and paste that out. I can create a mass amount of content very quickly. I can also go and enhance here and I can say, create a six sentence story. Instead, I could say, create a 30 sentence story. And then I could erase the values here, copy and paste that prompt into my prompt library. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna say delete the values here because I want a nice clean prompt when I bring it over. And I'm gonna to choose to copy that. Now, what I the reason I did this is I want to add it to my prompt library. I'm gonna to go to my prompt library. And I'm gonna to choose to add a new item. You see how helpful this is. I have the prompt to the left and the item for my prompt library on the right. I'm gonna go on my prompt recipe and I'm going to paste that. Let me just expand that. So you can see here's my new prompt. I'm making it generic by having the variables down at the bottom and I'm gonna say uh, 30 sentence story for new uh, uh, presentation. Now I can go down and choose the input variables and define what those are in, in, in a uh, multi-line field. Now I'm gonna click on the purpose and it allows me to categorize. And uh, because I'm using Microsoft lists, I can always add categories on the fly very easily. So I'm gonna choose, this is a content creation purpose. And then the category is going to be, I have right now, work, team, or product manager. So I'm gonna say this is for a product manager. And the model I've tested this on uh, is Copilot. So I'm gonna go and save that, and it's gonna save that into my uh, prompt library now where other people can gain access to it, where um, I can remember how to use it, and now I have a 30-day and a, a, a 30-sentence description, a five-sentence description. Uh, very quickly and easily, I can modify my prompt library and, and enhance it over time. Now, one of the other features that comes natively with Microsoft Lists is the ability to comment on entries within the list. So I'm gonna go back over to my prompt library view. I'm gonna close the sidebar and go over here and you can see this a little more easily. So when I go and hover over, scroll over at the title area, I can click on comment and I can say, this is a, uh, this is a great prompt but because I've shared this list with, within Microsoft Lists with my team or with my entire company, for example, I can say, let's add a comment to this. Um, this is a great prompt. Thank you for saving it. And I can say, there we go. So I've commented on this prompt within Microsoft Lists. Others can do the same. And by collaborating within the context of the prompt itself, I can now enhance it, we can change things, we can modify it, or we can tell people I've made this change to the prompt proactively. This is something that uh, I want everybody to know about. So I can do comments in my prompting library. So that's my brief overview of my Microsoft List prompting library. Makes it uh, really nice and easy to capture all of my prompts and maintain them, share them with others, give comments on them and enhance them over time, I can actually also export it to CSV and uh, import it into other areas. Um, we all know it's going to be super important that you have a place to store your prompts, enhance them over time, make them more, uh, more beneficial to you, to your team, and to your organization. So you can get started building your own prompt library using Microsoft Lists very easily. I hope you find this video helpful and that you will create your own prompt library and see the benefits that I'm seeing by saving your prompts and reusing them. See you next time.